Hey guys, Miss Saint Ellie here, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. In the last episode, we gathered up the golden leaves for Richard, which was kind of a hassle, and he's kind of a... <laughs> he's kind of a character, but in this episode, in reward for that, we got ourselves the slime key that we can use to open up the next dungeon! Check it out! Check it out! Look at what we got! It's open it up! It's time for another dungeon! I'm very excited, if you can't tell. <laughs> I, I am very excited for this dungeon. Wait, which part is faster? Is it faster to go up here or down there? Probably up here. Maybe. Possibly. I think. But yeah, uh, this next dungeon that's coming up, I think the other way was faster. It totally was. You know what? It's fine. Whatever. Leave my sense of direction. <laughs> oh, this is a wonderful start. You guys, I'm sorry. My sense of direction is not great. But anyway, I'm very excited for this dungeon. It's going to be uh, interesting because I'm not sure how well I exactly have this down. Uh, of course, as always, I'm gonna try my best, but as we just saw, sometimes my efforts are not very spot on. Anyway, uh, up on this ledge, above the dungeon, we have a secret seashell that we can grab. Right off the bat, that's actually pretty nice. How dare you? Got you. Anyway, head inside. It is time to tackle Key Cavern. This place is pretty interesting. Uh, right off the bat, I feel like it is worth noting that this is a great area to farm up bombs. And you are going to want to farm up bombs. So if you want to like exit out and then come back in just to top off your bombs, then I mean, no shame in that. Uh, this room is specifically designed to give you a butt ton of bombs, so uh, I like to go just go back and forth and spawn things. Uh, just to note, this is here. We can't do anything with this yet, but keep that in mind as we progress through. Uh, does it respawn? No, you have to actually leave and come back. That's unfortunate. Gee, I wonder what item we're going to be using a lot of. I have no clue. Haha! -ha. Aww. You can die. These bombs are a pain. If you hit them, they go nuts and they will explode at some point. They're, they're, kind, of, they're kind of a nuisance, but they do die to bombs as well and they will not do the bouncy thing. So if you want to be safe, you can do that. It's no big deal. Uh, they do drop a bomb if you kill them that way. So hey, uh, no, no real, no real uh, danger of running out of bombs there. Uh, we got a small key. And now if we head up here, we can't go this way. We've seen these things all over the place before now. And thankfully, we can probably eyebrow wiggle, uh, take care of these soon. So we just have to wait a little bit longer. Uh, no, I don't, I don't feel like fighting you again. We're gonna head up here. We get greeted only to, wow, that was a ridiculously easy uh, room. Oh, hello, what a waste. What was that garbage? You couldn't even give me rupees? Uh, this is a room that we can't do much about right at this current moment, but there is that treasure chest that we can aim for later. Head up. Uh, ow. Ow. So, uh, please give me, give me a heart. This spot is supposed to load a chest. If you'll notice, there's still one enemy alive, so uh, we, we have to worry about that later. Boop, 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 boop. Nothing. Go downstairs. Oh, good, a heart. Oh, 
Oh, good. I got hit. So we have a room now that is four directional. We do have to go into each of these rooms eventually, but I think I'm going to start with this one. And I'm going to tell you right now that honestly, if you wanted to grind up for the bow and arrow, this is actually a very good time to do it. Uh, the reason why, or rather not right now, more like before this dungeon. If you wanted to grind up rupees for the bow and arrow for this dungeon, that's a really good time to get the bow and arrow. Because this jerk is a jerk. If you get close to him, he'll just spit out light beams at you and you can't really hit him like this at all. You, you're too slow. Uh, what you want to do is take note of where he stops and then just kind of plop that down there and that did not work. So you see, this is going to be a very annoying enemy. Th this is just going to be a pain in the butt enemy. Uh, there you go. And it takes two hits, which kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. Uh, hello? Nope, not quite. Ah. <sighs> But yes, these are called Pyrods. I like them because they're cute. They're actually pretty cute. And uh, I, I don't mind looking at them. I hate fighting them. Wait, that was actually... <laughs> Why did I do that? I chased them away from it. Uh, I'm going to put it here. I'm going to have you there. Yes. They're not a particularly hard enemy. They're just annoying. Honestly, to me, it's just... If I have to think about where to place my bombs, then... My brain doesn't really work that way, you know? I just don't like thinking about things, you guys. I like hopping in, doing the do, and then being done with it. That's my style of play. These guys definitely do not jive with how I usually fight my enemies. Uh, which is why I will reiterate... If you want to grind up for the... If you want to grind up for the bow and arrow, these guys are also weak to those. So it, that may be a good idea. Yeah, I'm just going to plop that there. I'm already 10 bombs down. You know, I probably could have just rushed past him and been done with it. It's fine. Whatever. No biggie. Uh, kill you. Anything else? Nope. Okay, and that drops another small key, which we can use in a little bit. But let's go up here. No. No. Frick. Uh, any bombs? No bumps. Not there, anyway. Bumps. Hearts. Bumps. One bomb. Not terrible. Ooh! Nice! Uh, wait. Let me take a look at the map real quick. Uh, so we've gone through all of those. I can't get that, I can't get that, I can't get that. <laughs> you know how it is. Ah, uh, yes. I had forgotten about these. This is a Dodongo snake. It does not look like a Dodongo at all. It's a real dumb name if you ask me, but it is what it is. All you gotta do is feed it bombs. Come on. It has to go in its mouth for it to count. Which is kind of annoying. But honestly, they're very easy enemies. You just have to be patient and have enough bombs to deal with them. There's a reason why they give you an out. I'll just put it like that. If you don't have an out, then hey, you would be stuck here forever. Uh, we already have a fairy. So I don't really need that one. Come on down. Come on down! Come on down! I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense for it to be called a Dodongo snake because it, you know, Dodongos also eat your bombs. But it just really does not look like one. Oh, come on. This is delicious! 
he also agrees with that. And that gives us a warp right back to the beginning of the dungeon, which is nice because we can go back there and grind up more bombs. There we go. It didn't want to activate for a second. Do, do you do you give me new bombs? Oh, you do give me new bombs if I use the teleporter. That's awesome. Fantastic. Come on. You're so picky about where you want me to stand. Okay, 16 is good for now, I think. Aww. D -d -d I messed up. <laughs> I messed up! I'm sorry. Okay. And out, come back. We want to go this way, then this way. And now... Check it out! We got ourselves the Pegasus Boots! I've been waiting for this. If you hold L, you can dash. Try going for a long jump. Ooh, so there's no actual item for this. It is straight up just equipped to you at all times, which I love that. I really, really love that. Whoop! And that's it. That's how we take care of those blocks that we couldn't take out before, which is nice. We don't have to worry about that anymore. It's very, very, very nice. Uh. <laughs> Taryn right on through. Uh, now I actually do want to see what is up in this direction. Oh, it literally is just uh, a way out and nothing else. Gotcha. Haha! -ha! We can also take these out pretty quickly now. Like, honestly, you don't really need to grab the bow and arrow. I know I was saying if you don't want to deal with them, now is a good time to grind up the bow and arrow. But honestly, you do get the Pegasus boots really quick. I just hate playing with bombs. Honestly, the bombs are just a pain for me, which is why I said that. But it's honestly not super necessary. Ah, let go. Oh, okay. Yes, I would like to uh, check out that treasure chest, but give me a moment, please. Um, how about dead? Dead? Dead! Nice! Grab ten more bombs. Uh... I'll just wait for this. Please? Okay. Bomb? Bomb. Nothing. Oh, you know what? I have not gotten the owl beak yet. Open this up! For a purple rupee! 50 rupees, very nice. We're, we're gonna get that. We're gonna get that thing yet. Uh, that pushes down. I don't think it stays pushed. No, it does not. So you can't use that as like a little shortcut up here. Can't wait to get the bow and arrow. It's gonna be nice. Okay. I'm gonna throw that down there near that cracked wall. Hehe. Uh, two for one? Two for one? Oh, barely. Very close. Oh, come on. Now, now this is a game. Now this is a mind game. Come on. You're gonna die to a bomb if I have anything to say about it. Heck yeah. There we go. We got ourselves a key. Eventually, when we make our way over there. Mm. Keep on going. Oh. Okay. I can't do that right now. Uh, you know what? I have a run button. Why am I not running? It's time for the run button to do its thing. Uh, continue. Continue. And now go down. 
Uh, we could do this. We could well, actually we can't even go all the way through, so there's no real point to doing that. Um, but I do want to go back down and take care of that room that we left behind. But in a bit, I want to take a look at this. Ha ha! One shot. Oh, oops. Two shot. <sighs> I have gone in the wrong direction to get that, that beak. Oh, hi. Yes, no, I hate countdowns. That, yep, that, I hate that. Aw, oh, piece of power. Head through. Ow. Grab this, which is the compass. Awesome. Got ourselves a heart, too. I have to kill these anyway. That's annoying. But we did get the key, which is three keys. Aww. Yeah, I could just straight up open that other door, but you know what? I I, I still want to go downstairs. I want to go downstairs. Okay, so this is a big old hint. Look, it's it, it's straight up just an arrow. You hit this wall, you don't hear anything. You hit this wall. I lied. No, it doesn't sound any different. Supposed to do a little bing, 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 bing. Maybe, maybe because I didn't read the hint. I don't know. Well, whatever. There's a big old arrow there. If you if you bomb this, it'll open up a doorway and you can go inside. I was like, surely it'll make the different sound, but no, it didn't. Uh, two hearts. Does it make it here? Nothing. Okay. That's fine. Uh, this is just a shortcut back. Time for a running jump! Remember all of those places where there were gigantic jumps? Yeah, this is how you get across those. You have to just like run and jump all the way. And now we get the nightmare key! Uh... I feel, like, slightly guilty because I've been getting everything in this dungeon except for the map and the owl beak. M my bad. Um, okay, well, it's time. We're gonna go down here. Backtrack a little bit. Remember these two doors? It's time. Open this one. Let's see. Ah. Yeah, I got it. There's a key. And a stone owl that I still can't listen to. Sorry, buddy. Oh, uh, we're gonna hit this crystal. Open this up. No, 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 no. Oh, wait! Kill you. I, I kinda, I kinda just... Ha-ha! Perfect. We're just getting... <gasps> nope! Don't you dare! Don't you dare go into the pit! How dare you! That's rude! That is not very nice. Okay, I'm gonna take another look at the map. Uh, up. Yes. Yes, I got you. I got you. So, now that we have the Pegasus boots, we can take care of some stuff that's up here. One of which is this. You can finally get this now. <laughs> yes. We got the stone beak. <laughs> Oh, we sure did get, get that stone beat. Oh, uh, come on. Uh, 
take you guys out. And now we can walk on this like we couldn't before. Come on. Hit me. Yeah. There's the map. There's the map. Okay, let's take a look at this place. It's actually a giant key. I love the design of this dungeon. This dungeon is very clever. I like how it's just straight up in the shape of a key. I, I, I just, I respect this dungeon a lot for what it does. I just kind of wish I got the map a little bit sooner, but it is what it is. I'm not hurting too much because we actually figured this out pretty quickly, all things considered. Even without having to look at the map very much, so. Uh, it's not like we have a mini-map that we can see, you know? I feel- it, it's kind of weird. I feel like for this game, the map is- has kind of a disting- uh... Not distinguished worth, but uh... What's the word that I'm looking for? Not distinguished. Uh... 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 Wait, I want to know what the word was now! Diminished! Diminished! I sat here blank staring into space, being like, what's that word I'm thinking of? I know it's another D word that is not the dirty word, but I know that there is a word that that fits here. It is diminished. I feel like the map in Dungeons has kind of diminished worth because you don't get a mini-map in the corner of the screen for this game. It's, it's kind of an interesting thing that I noted, but uh... I mean, the map is still useful because you can always open up the big map, but I feel like the times where I really am thankful to have the map and the compass- Oops, I didn't mean to open that up. Uh, you know what? No. Hey. Hey, YouTube. That heart's for you. Okay, anyway. <laughs> I feel like the times that I really appreciate having the, uh, the map in other games is when I have a mini-map in the corner. I feel like I get very turned around and very confused without a mini-map, but, uh, here we are. So for clearing out all of the monsters in this room, we get 300 rupees. We're real close to that bow and arrow set. We're really close to it, you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic. I'm very excited about that. Uh, but our next stop is gonna be down here. Because remember that that room on the left there? Yeah, we need we need to take care of that. Uh Yeah. Now we can actually power right through this and grab this chest. For yeah, it's another small key. Uh <laughs> we are swimming in small keys. We're 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 doing it, you know? We are doing it. The small keys are coming to us. Very quickly, I might add. Oh, uh, well. I do know that there is a thing here. It's a piece of power. That's not bad. Uh, one. Two. Three. And four small keys used all right in a row. You're very angry, aren't you? Oh, you are very angry. Oh. Uh, forget, what What do I do with you? Wait, oh, you know what I think I do with you? Boop! That's right! Ha-ha! Get wrecked. Uh... So the far jump still does work in the side scrolly areas, which is kind of cool. Uh, ooh. Death. Death. And death. I want, I, I really just want to pop all of them now. There's no particular reason. I just feel like, you know, when there's one pixel left when you're trying to clear something out and it's not complete until you complete it, that's the way I feel about that. Um, oh. I see. Oh, you know what? No, I'm gonna... I'm gonna figure my way 
out here. Come on. I could just go in. Or I could destroy you. Get a small key? Wait, where does that small key go? Did I miss something? Oh! Oh, I get it. Okay, so that small key was specifically meant for these rooms. If you went into this room first, then you wouldn't be able to reach these rooms, I guess. Something like that. Um, so it's basically a fail-safe if you can't get into any of these rooms after you use up all of the other small keys. So uh, it's pretty much useless to us now. But we got it, I guess. That's a good thing. Uh, we're going to open up the boss door, head inside, and see our new enemy. Nina, Nina, you can't find me, nya, nya. That's obnoxious. Uh, hit him down, and here he is! Yeah. We're fighting Slime Eye, a.k.a. a drop of mercury. He just straight up looks like, mer like a drop of mercury to me. So yeah, he, he, he's he's kind of he's kind of a big boy. He's kind of a big boy. You you slam away at him, nothing happens. You you kind of gotta wait for him to do his thing. Actually, no, you can hit his eyes. Uh, here we go. You can only get him to this much separation. Then you have to go toward the middle and get hit. Uh. Also, I like how, I like how the music only kicked in now because we have the guardian acorn on. <gasps> Whoops. Uh. There we go. Uh. So he's gonna go up there, and they're gonna try. Oops. Whoa! Oh, that was a nice combo, actually. Uh, they're gonna try and jump down on you. What you wanna do is jump right before impact, and that'll keep you from getting stunned. Come on, aha! Very simple. It is very, very simple. Whoop, there you go. It takes four hits, which I missed the last one. Come on, aha, and last one. Four hits on the small blobs will do them in, and it's honestly a really simple boss fight. Yay! That gives us another heart container! Awesome! Wow, that, that puts us at eight heart containers. Nice. And now, we have another instrument. You got the Sea Lily's Bell. Waterfall. It is hidden in the waterfall. What? How many instruments have you gotten so far? When you play the instruments in front of the egg, the windfish will wake and you will leave this island. Now you must hasten to the Yarna Desert. The dark, monstrous inhabitants of the sand will show you the way. Thank you very much, Mr. Owl. That sounds like a good tip to me. And it's a tip we'll be using in the next episode. So, now that we finished the dungeon, I will see you guys next time. Messina out.